Hi guys, and welcome to my top 10 Super Nintendo games list. All the pictures in, that you will see in this video is my screenshots, and all videos um, is actually me playing these games. So, if anyone was wondering. Um, Alright, enjoy! The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past um, <laughs> I guess you guys, uh, a lot of you guys who actually played the Super Nintendo wondering Why the hell is this game on number 10? It should be a lot higher, it's one of the greatest games ever um, That's actually why I put it on the list, it's not a game that I played myself That's, that's why it's way down here on number 10 um, I never really got into the whole Zelda thing, um, so uh, that's why it's not higher, but you know, I, I recognize that it's an awesome game and it, I just felt that it had to be on this list. So uh, there you go, Zelda number 10. Mega Man X Released in late 1993 in Japan and in early 1994 in North America. Mega Man was a super success to the Nintendo Entertainment System, the 8-bit console from Nintendo. Uh, having, I don't know, like at least 8 games I think. There were a lot of Mega Man games to the Nintendo Entertainment System uh, that had a lot of success. So the expectations for this game to the Super Nintendo was super high, uh, point intended. Uh, so they didn't really live up to those expectations I must say. Uh, it wasn't quite the game I expected but still a really good game. So therefore Mega Man X number 9. Donkey Kong Country. It was released in 1994 by Nintendo and it was developed by Rare. It was one of the greatest hits to the Super Nintendo system. And um, it was a three game series. And this was the first of those three games. Um, I didn't play it very much. I played it some. I actually didn't own the game myself, but I played it at a friend's and I really enjoyed this game and I've actually I think I played it more on an emulator now than I did back when we actually played on the real Super Nintendo. Uh, a great game and that's why it's number 8 Donkey Kong Country. Mortal Kombat, which started as a arcade game in 1992, is of course one of the really, really well-known uh, fighting series. It's later on become movies and a lot, a lot of games. Um, this is the original game. Uh, I don't know if they redid it a little bit for the Super Nintendo uh, after the arcade version, but it's. The original Mortal Kombat game, uh, which I probably played a lot more than I should have. <laughs> it's not a super great fighting game, I can't really say the, the mechanics and stuff, but I played it a lot and I enjoyed it when I was young. So number 7, Mortal Kombat. Super Tennis, released in 1991. Probably really unexpected for most people to see this game on this list this high. But I really, really enjoyed this game back in the day. 
Uh, I played it a lot. Of course, I was a huge tennis fan at the time. I played a little tennis myself, and it was just an awesome game for me. Uh, it doesn't look like much, but the mechanics and the physics of the game are actually really, really good. At least uh, for, you know, 1991. So uh, for me, this game has to be on the list number six. Super Tennis. F zero. Yeah. Wow, I get goosebumps when I see this game, man. Uh, this was one of those games I loved when I was a kid. Uh, the thing was, it was, uh, by the way, it was released already in 1990. The graphics of the games are awful, but the gameplay is so much fun. At least I felt that way back in the day. And this is was this was one of the games that I didn't own myself either, but my friend did, and man, I wanted to play it every time I was at his house. Uh, I don't know, I don't know why. It's not really that great, but I just love this game, and I, I can't really explain why. Uh, I just found it really, really, you know, mysteri mysterious. <laughs> I don't know to play this game. It was it was great fun. So number What are we up to? Number five F Zero Super Mario Kart Developed by Nintendo and released in 1992. Well, I guess we're getting kind of high on this list, and of course, the Mario games start coming. And uh, Super Mario Kart, awesome, awesome game, which I played a lot, a lot, a lot. <laughs> um, it's definitely one of the best racing games of its generation, probably the best racing game of its generation. Um, it's just awesome gameplay and awesome mechanics, awesome physics and, you know, of course the Mario universe. Um, it was of course also very well received by, you know, the general public and played a lot by many people um, and set the standard for a whole generation of games to come. Super Mario Kart number four and if it wasn't for the great games coming it probably would be higher but number four Super Mario Kart All right, guys, we're down to the top three games to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And number three is Street Fighter 2. If you, for some reason, don't know, this fighting game was developed by Capcom and was a super, super success. Um, everybody who owned a Super Nintendo wanted to play Street Fighter 2. I actually owned the original Street Fighter and the game you see here in the video is Street Fighter 2 Turbo and then there was Street Fighter 2 Alpha, New Challengers and blah blah blah. There was many many sequels and of course Today we've seen the light of Street Fighter 3 and so on and so on. So Street Fighter 2 was the standard bearer back in the day and definitely worthy of number 3 on my list. Street Fighter 2. Alright, we're down to number two, 
And here comes Mario, of course. Super Mario All-Stars. All these games, this is a collection of games, of course, four Mario games that were all released to the original Nintendo, the NES, the 8-bit console. And then they were totally remade and bundled together in one game for the Super Nintendo. I, w I was totally, awesomely, super excited when this game was gonna come out. Knowing, having played all those other games, I didn't play Lost Levels, of course, because uh, that was the Super Mario 2 in Japan that did, wasn't released in Europe. Um, so we didn't get to play it until this game. And then, of course, there was the remakes. I mean, they remade the entire world to look so much better on the Super Nintendo than it did on the Nintendo. So, you know... This must have been, you know, for me, this was the first remake I ever played, and it, I was super excited by it, and um, played it a lot, a lot, a lot. Man, I can't believe, how did you have time to play as much back in the day? And then, then you had sports and school and shit, but I have no idea, but I played it a lot, and man, was it fun. And it was really, really well done by Nintendo, too. Um, the remake was awesome. It was really a super improvement compared to the uh, Nintendo game, uh, graphic-wise. And, wow, definitely deserving. Number two, Super Mario All-Stars. And finally, number one! Of course, Super Mario World. Do I really have to say more than that? Super Mario World, man. One of the greatest games of all time. Definitely the greatest platform game of all time. In my book. No game has ever beaten it. Um... Super Mario World released in 1990 by Nintendo themselves becoming a super super success like most Nintendo products back in the day but this was probably one of their biggest successes and definitely according to me the greatest game to the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Super Mario world now enjoy the final moments and see me beat Bowser and save the princess
Okay, that's it for this time. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I enjoyed making it. Alright, that's it. Goodbye. Thanks for watching.